So there's like two sides to little Cappy's brain. And I know philosophically, after sitting down and thinking about it, you go patrol out in the fields for a while. You go walk around night shift. You, your mind will wander as an economist. You'll read economic things and stuff, and then you'll apply it to human. You say, why is that human behavior that way? I don't get it. And you come up with theories, and they're not theories. They're accurate. I kind of have the answer to my question already is what I'm saying. And the answer why, you know, why are people poor and, and, you know, why do people choose to be poor? Because it is a choice. It, a handful of things. One, they're stupid. Okay, I understand you're truly unintelligent. They've done the tests on delayed gratification. People who are higher IQ and more intelligent are able to do, what was it, the donut test? Like, look, little kid, little Jimmy, you can have a donut now. Or if you wait 10 minutes, you can have two. And then the kids that have the intelligence, the weight and the, the, the uh, discipline or the control, the iron will as a little five-year-old child to postpone the consumption of the donut immediately. Um, those who did tend to have higher IQ. And that's one of, of many predictors of, of doing better in the world because you understand the idea of investment. So being dumb, I can understand uh, innocently, I mean, you don't control whether you're smart or stupid, innocently uh, results in poverty. But then after that, then, then, then you lose my forgiveness or my understanding. And one, one that I found out <clears throat> is being popular. That's the more recent one where you ask what kind of value system were we given as modern day, any, any American born the past three generations, what, what is your value system that has been instilled in you? It is to be popular, not to be good, not to actually be wealthy. It is to be popular. And the problem with being popular is it's conformist. Right? So you're not unique. You're not special. And if that is your ultimate end-all, be-all goal, whether that that popularity uh, value system was established in school, like, oh, you're wearing the right shoes, you got the right pants, or when they kick it up uh, a couple orders of magnitude and dollar signs where it's like, okay, it's not just you got to get a fancy shirt. Now you have to have a big-ass house and a big-ass car. Doesn't matter how old you are. Everyone's still a, a perpetual adult child. Everyone's still in high school. And now you're going tens of thousands, but tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth into debt. But you got the fancy car. You're popular. I'm like, oh my God, it doesn't end. I thought it was going to end. It didn't end. <clears throat> but there you go. There, okay, you've been conditioned either through school or marketing or advertising. I'm not a big, it's all the corporations, man. I'm like, yo, you're just a bunch of dumb motherfuckers. Who can't realize that having that shirt or having that car doesn't make you happy or doesn't make you wealthy. If, if anything, it impoverishes you. So I know you got a lot of fancy. It looks like you're rich, but you're not. You're po. You are po. I pull up your balance sheet. I look like, oh, 1.7 million in assets and 1.9 in liabilities. Good going there, uh, Thaddeus. <clears throat> So there's that. And then there's also the biological Darwinistic where you, in the olden days, you would consume to survive. You didn't know where your next meal was coming from. This is more caloric philosophy, like biology. Like, oh, I need, I need, I need to consume it now. Here it is in front of me. I don't know when it's going to come again. It's just like dogs. We've talked about it before. And so even though that is consuming food, uh, People will consume anything because, like, well, I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to be able to buy another Beamer at 1.8% interest. <clears throat> it's just, it's just a fascinating world where it's like, okay, you're on this planet one time, and and especially in America, you're going to enslave yourself to the banks. Not a big, not a Democrat. Not a, it's just the corporations and the banks, man. This is what baby boomer losers would say in the 80s where there's, there's a split in the boomer generation. So uh, there were the Vietnam veterans. Those guys were legit boomers. They, they, they immediately get promoted to Gen X. But then the boomers had a choice like at about 
in their late 20s, early 30s, and it was Ronald Reagan gave him a choice. Like, you grow up, become adults, and make some money, or you still do that, dude, man, the communism thing only killed 100 million people, dude. I mean, and those were the people that, like, they would say, it's all about materialism, man. It's like, okay, you were right about that one thing. You were right. But I don't mean to sound like that guy. <clears throat> I merely mean to point out, like, what's it's it's stuff. It's just a couch. No one's going to get that one. And so I, I know why biology, popularity, conforming with society. All you girls got to be popular. Oh, my God. Goodness, Tina, I have two master's degrees. I'm queen bitch of the world. Yeah, $500,000 in debt. Amy, I have the Audi A10 and I live in the Winnetka. Yeah, but it's all on your husband's money and he's running a Ponzi scheme and you're all about to be kicked out. That's assuming it doesn't bump off the entire family, which has happened several times before which is a tragic thing. <clears throat> so I get it. I get it. But then I go to a place where I can't say, and there is a person there. And this person is of the female variety. I know this person does not make a lot of money. Pragers. And I, I got to ask, you see, aside from the person who's not intelligent, you don't have your intelligence. You're born genetically, whatever. You're just a dumb person. Malnutrition, that's a, a, a environmental determining factor of your intelligence. And I think the number one thing. I get it if you're dumb and you don't know any better. But these people are not dumb. And I got to wonder, why do you all keep choosing to be poor? Because after a while and after enough forgiveness and even a kind for at the end of the day, you still making stupid decisions. And I've always wrestled with, but I've come to the conclusion that humans are, are completely, not completely, but, but uh, mostly brainwashable. But even then, I'm like, what, what don't you get about simple math? I make $50,000 a year. This car costs $60,000. I can't afford the car. Or I have $20,000 saved up. The car I'd like to get is $50,000. And in Cappy world, I'd be like, well, I guess I don't get that car. But then you guys, you guys sign up. Maybe not my audience so much. I'm obviously trying to reach another audience, <clears throat> trying to expand. Welcome you all into the tent of get your head out of your assness. But where, you, where is it that you think it's a good idea or somehow there isn't going to be a consequence where some scheming bank and scumbag comes in and says, hey, I know you only got $20,000. And that car is $60,000. But for the low, low, you can have that car now for the low, low interest rate of 12 and a half APR percent. And I thought you all went to school. I thought like in the fourth and fifth grade, they taught you percentages. And how interest in compound mathematics worked, that's when they taught me. But even, even if you didn't know that, okay, even if you went to the public schools and you learned about like how white people suck or whatever they teach you now in the fourth and fifth grade, and you didn't have compound mathematics, shouldn't logic, shouldn't you have enough years of experience to know that there's no such thing as a free, that there's going to be a, what's the catch, right? This they, well, what's the catch? And then maybe using the powers of the internet, you research what APR means. Like, whoa, wait a second. But no. And it, that, I'm, I'm making fun of like your typical young 18, 19-year-old, 20-year-old kid. This still happens to full-grown adults, 40, 50-year-old people that should know, but who obviously do know the concept of compound mathematics. And you, you'll say, oh, okay. And then you'll wonder, then you'll bitch and whine why you're poor. And you'll do anything but blame yourself. You'll do anything but stand in front of the mirror and say, man, I screwed up. I shouldn't have got. And, and speaking of, I have a question. Um, <clears throat> it's an economic philosophical question. You're enjoying a much higher standard of living. Forget whether or not you got money in the bank. Forget whether it's all leased. Forget whether you financed for bankruptcy or whatever. Forget all that. Do you not live in a very posh uh, apartment or flat? 
in Uptown, where all the action is. Like you girls, the ones that are like disproportionately, not solely, but disproportionately, uh, who are strong and independent, you demand we bail you out of your student loans for your worthless jokes of degrees. All right. <clears throat> and you're poor and it's the evil white man and the patriarchy and whatever the Republicans in the Senate. Wait a minute. Are you not enjoying a higher standard of living using other people's money? Of course, having this downtown apartment where all the action is in your least brand new car. Right. You got down to you got underground heated garage space parking. You afford your lattes. All you millennials that had avocado and toast in, in college as you sip your little espresso. Oh, my goodness. I'm just so intelligent because uh, I am going to McAllister. I'm just so smart. I'm learning about international studies. And that's what President Obama said. I'm just so intelligent. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have more avocado and toast. Oh, OK. You know, I. Okay, so you you're you're not suffering a poor life. Your finances are poor. <clears throat> you keep kicking down the debt the entire time that can down the road, so you don't actually pay it. So your 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 consumption, your standard of living at that year is not lessened. Like you're not working in another job or being responsible, paying a what what are you complaining about being poor for? I know your finances suck, but the the standard of living you're enjoying is not poor. It, it, in any case, it's just a, a technical point. <clears throat> but I got why why in the case of this gal getting pregnant, uh, wh who doesn't have the money? I can just tell you that right now. Why do you people do this to yourselves? You gotta at, at some level know. This is bad. This is bad. I mean, hey, man, bad idea, jeans. Bad idea, jeans. Wait, no, this is it. When, why? And just, just explain it to me. Help me out in the comments section. For those of you who are like, you're approaching 30, you got $200,000 of student loan debt. What was your pro thought process of like, I'll go major in journalism, then I'll get my master or, or go to law school at some unranked school what is your thought are you just trying to avoid work are you trying to win the lottery did you not critically think no matter how many times your professors told you you had critical thinking skills did you not think about hey is this signing up for a hundred thousand dollars in an undergrad and two hundred eighty thousand for law school or grad school <clears throat> and now now you're 32 you have no employable skills what, what, what? And then, oh, I'm going to I'm going to take on more commercial or not commercial. I'm sorry. Personal debt, whether that's credit card debt, a car loan. Because you had to buy stuff, you had to buy clothes. That's another one I don't get clothes. I really don't get the clothes thing. I'm reading Land of the Losers. Uh, and he talks about this girl that he lent money to. This is back in the 90s, I believe. He's about my age. He lent this gal five hundred dollars, and she never had the money, never. But she was always out buying clothes. Now, it's that is not to criticize women who buy clothes, although disproportionately you do. <clears throat> Men piss away their money on other things, but credit card spending in general, all this stuff, and then getting to the to the other extreme, you get to almost the criminal element. Where, where you got homeless people are panhandling. I've, I've seen people panhandle, of course, obviously. And I don't even think they're on drugs. You see that a lot in Vegas, even out here in Rapid City. Younger couple, they're panhandling. What the hell are you doing? There's a restaurant right there that has a $15 an hour sign on it. You could live in Rapid City on that. It's not that expensive out here. And your logic is the best thing for you to do is panhandle with your dog. Of course, you always have to have your dog. And then I can't imagine your living accommodations are nice. Certainly the homeless. What did, where, where did you think your strategy was going to get you? Not working. What is the idea of not working? Did you actually think? That the laws of physics alone, your body needs calories of energy. You have to do something. You don't just sit there. Nowhere in the human, not the human, nowhere in the universe does something that consume energy, 
in humans or in animals' cases, calories of energy, do you just sit there and exist? <clears throat> it doesn't happen. I mean, plants, I guess. I guess plants. I don't really control things. But anything that's not a plant, where, where did you think? And wouldn't it like, hey, look, I literally got nothing else to do today. Whether you're an unemployed uh, homeless bum or you're this uh, uh, incel type playing video games at home. Or you're this uh, uh, prima donna social justice warrior, overeducated chicky babe. Why don't you all? What? Why not work a little bit, make the money, and then, especially when you're younger, because <clears throat> this is where Cappy was. Of course, we have to adjust for inflation. I remember making six ninety an hour. Now, admittedly, that was in the mid nineties. So, let's call it twelve. That's still not a lot. But I made sure I didn't spend more than I had because you had to pay attention to that. There wasn't that much money left. And here you guys go. You got to buy a shirt, a shirt. When I was a kid and my family members chinsed out on Christmas and instead of getting us toys, use it as an excuse to buy us the stuff they were supposed to buy us anyway, clothes. Oh, my God, did I hate that. I hated that. And I could tell you get that whatever Coles or JC Penny box is about yay by yay by yay. And it was you could feel squishy and like that's a sweater. I don't need I already got five sweaters. I don't need it. Can I get can I get like a GI Joe? Just one. I don't want the whole <clears throat> army, but can I get one GI Joe doll? Could I get a truck? No. You get the clothes is. You go to Goodwill to get your clothes. That's why I go to get my clothes. I go to Goodwill. Even now, I don't. I could afford any clothes I want, I guess. What, what are you doing in college, going into debt, buying fancy clothes as if you're still in high school or middle school? And then don't even get me started. Do not even get me started about having kids you can't afford. I've said it a million times before. The number one cause of poverty is having kids you can't afford. It is. It's not a debate. <clears throat> but what are our four rules? Was it don't have kids you can't afford, don't major in dumb stuff, uh, spend less than you make, and don't commit crime. That was Those are the four rules, and you probably won't screw up your life. But, man, boy, people are going to have kids. And I don't get it. What is it so hard to get a vasectomy? Is it so hard for you girls to get a tubular tubular ligation? Is it too hard for you girls to take the pill? Oops. It's not like, oops, I stubbed my toe. It's, oops, I got 18 years of pain and penury and financial destitution. <clears throat> and it all comes down to choices you made. It all comes down to choices. And I understand being dumb. I understand being propagandized to consume. I understand the biological uh, compunction to consume. But at the, at, still, at the end of the day, I don't get it. Why you all choose to be poor. Why you all knowingly, don't tell me there's not a piece of your brain saying, this is a dumb idea. I should sign up for this car. This is a dumb idea. I shouldn't major in English. This is a dumb idea. Maybe I should set down the drugs and the booze and maybe get a job. Like get a job and do the drugs and the booze. I did the boo. I did that with booze for the longest time. And yet the <clears throat> the homeless, I don't northern homeless people, that I don't get. If you're in San Diego, I get it. Be homeless there. Or Florida. But the homeless in, in cold northern states. <laughs> What? And all you in the comments, don't be, they got drug problems. I don't care how doped up on drugs you are. If it's minus 15, I'd be like, you know what? You know what? Even with my drug induced brain, if I were to just work a little bit, all right, to get some kind of house or lodging, not a house, just, you know, some kind of cheap, even in the, the cheapest, the most dangerous parts of town, because anything is an upgrade for being homeless, living under a bridge. I could probably do my drugs in comfort. <clears throat> and nope. Nope. They still. This. And so anyway, link below, because I don't believe the people. If you're homeless, it's you, you know, it's, it's hopeless. 
You're hopeless. Just just give up. Just give up. I don't I'm not going to say what I mean by give up. And if you got to if you're a 47 year old soccer mom or washed up NBA laden dude, bro, with a gut who was Al Bundy and maybe you were a football star in high school at Polk County High. And you're still playing the popularity game, getting the latest cars and the newest house with the latest kind of you, you put, and if you're one of these pretentious Evanston assholes who parks the cars on, on the driveway so people can see it while your garage has a bunch of crap that you don't use, right? <clears throat> it's too late for you. You're gone. Your values, not only is that your value system that you've been enslaved to since Ferris Bueller's day out, uh, day off came out, you're not going to change. You're, you're, half a, you're half a century old. What, Tina and Bipsy and their douchebag husbands also are like, hey, maybe we ought to love each other. <laughs> no, they got to double down, man. I got, uh, then they, at that, that age, they start living vicariously through their children. Maybe their daughter or son's the most popular. Maybe they have the most selected genders. Maybe, oh, my God. My, my son, Yaden. He like has seven genders a day. Uh, isn't he amazing? She may, I don't know. He's got an app and updates us what type of gender he is at this moment in time. <clears throat> but it, the, and I've made this point before, look, old, if, you, if you ain't young and you're still, you know, you're, you're 35 plus, let's just say. Certainly 40 and certainly 50 plus. It's over for you. You're going to go down that path. You're not going to convince some 50-year-old feminist that she's wrong and lived her life for all the wrong reasons. She's just going to double down because she can't admit that her life was a complete waste. But for you younger people, and that's why I, I target younger people, not because I'm a Democrat and I want you to corrupt you to vote for me in power so I never have to work a job. The only The reason, predominant reason I target younger people is because you can actually make a change in your life. You can actually improve your life. And all I'm asking for you is to not be poor. That's it. I'm asking you to just choose not to be poor. Not saying being wealthy is a completely different thing. <clears throat> that takes a lot of work and some luck. Let's just admit that too. A lot of times hard work is the number one thing. That's all I'm asking. And if you've got like this pressure, this compunction, by society, by your genetics, by your biology, by your environment, by your teachers, by your professors, by the commercials, by the media. I gotta get a, especially you boys. I swear to God, you boys. Hey, do you think about this? Let's just answer this honestly, boys. Do you want a fancy car? Do you? Okay, that's wrong. Car is transportation with the added luxury of having an environment controlled cab a uh, cabin inside the car is to transport you in relative comfort from point a to point b if you think having that car fancy car is going to make you happy or get you laid you are wrong and this isn't a little mistake that you make where it's like well i'm gonna buy the blue shirt and like oh i should have gotten the red shirt you know no when you sign that lease for a hundred thousand dollar car and your payment is twelve hundred dollars a month don't you be bitching and whining about the price of rent or you can't afford a house <clears throat> so if you guys have any kind of pressure from whatever angle to go spend more money than you got to go into debt all right link below is a link to my course called achieving minimalism it is open for another two days well, two and a half today, the 29th and the 30th at the end of June at 1159 and 59 seconds PM, it will close. And if you want to be po no more, if you don't want to end up, <laughs> if you don't want to end up like your parents constantly bitching and whining about not having money, you don't want to end up homeless. You don't want to end up like these 38 year old spinsters who need a student loan bailout, despite being a strong, independent woman don't need no man. If if you don't want to have your life suck like the millennials, have you seen them? Have you seen them? Tell me, have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? What the hell? Who's saying that? Ba -da 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 -da. I wasn't Prince. Who was that? God, no, nah, that was from the 90s. 
It, just look at everyone. Don't look at what they wear. Don't look at what they own. Don't look at the house they live in. Just look at them and see how happy they are. Do you want to avoid that? Do you want to avoid student loan debt? Do you want to avoid being poor and miserable for the rest of your life? Do you want to end up like two-thirds of the boomers who don't have enough money to retire because they pissed away all the money on, I mean, really dumb shit like boats and divorces? <laughs> And steps and stepchildren. <laughs> you you want take the course below, okay? You got a spending problem. You tired of being poor? You're on the track of being poor. Take the class below. It is expensive. It is four hundred fifty dollars plus tax. Why is a course on minimalism five hundred dollars? Yeah, with tax. Uh, it's because you ain't gonna pay attention otherwise. It's because you're pissing away. What's your car payment? What is your car payment? Is your car payment $500 a month or more? All right, so that's every month. Every month you piss away that money. Whereas if, if you learn minimalism, and I could tell you how to go buy it. Well, hell, you go get the book Bachelor Pad Economics. There's an entire chapter there on how to buy a car for cash. So you don't need a $500 a month. Don't tell me <clears throat> with your credit card balance of $10,000 or your student uh, loan debt that was accumulated at $300 of credit with you know $250 textbooks. Don't tell me that that is like, oh, I can't believe you're charging that much. I'm like, oh, you pissed away. How many of you pissed away that much money on chasing one girl with dates and gas and cars? And gifts. How many of you did? Huh? Huh? See, all the old time guys, the guys who are married and divorced, all these old timers with the gray hair, they're like, that's a steal. <laughs> I'll give you free advice right now that'll save you way more than $450. All right, this will this will pay for it. Don't get married there. Well, that's just you being edgy. No, it's me being edgy. And, it, and quickly, that advice is not becoming edgy. That's just becoming common sense now. <clears throat> but for the love of God, get your financial act together. And if you're having problems spending, if you feel pressured because of what, from K through 12, you had to wear the right clothes. You had to get the cool car to get the girls. Uh, yeah, you need that course. You do. Oh, oh, by the way, please do what's in the course. Please do what's in the course. Don't just sign up for it. I've had that weirdly, and I could tell like if people take the course, like if they open it up, I've had people pay for it, not even open it up once. I'm like, what are you crazy? <clears throat> so if you don't, if you want to be po no more, or especially if you come from poorer family like I did, you really don't have the room to screw up on this. <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> course below. I, I I can't make the claim because it's up to you to actually put into practice what the course recommends. Um, but I, if you do that, it will be a life-changing course. It will be. It'd be no different than if you're a fat person and you lost weight. You will dramatically improve your finances. And it's it's the 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 practice. It's here. I'll give I'll give you what you got to do. You got to spend less than you make. There. That's it. Now, how you get to that part? There you go. That's why I charge. And let's also admit, I'm greedy. I like money. <clears throat> There's that too. All right, let's go to the Super Chats, which even though this is like a advertisement. Ron Suarez, our other Latino agent in the field. Poe, no, mo. I won't make you rich. But outside of like, you know, getting hit by a bus and being crippled financially that way, I can guarantee you won't be poor. Willie Mendoza, two bucks. You the man. I love black girls. I, I'm not against black girls. Like all girls, you just got to be thin and hot. And then I'll be for you. There's been a couple. There's been a couple sisters. So I'm like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, down with the system. Whatever, whatever you want. Yeah, whatever, I don't care. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Stan the Milkman, five Australian dollars. Society is so safe and prosperous and controlled that people have never needed to flex their planning in the future muscle. You are correct. You are correct. No need to save grain. Right. And what, what ends up happening is 
um, with with the welfare state and being bailed out in bankruptcy, no one achieves excellence. I don't mean necessarily wealth excellence. I mean an excellent life. <clears throat> That's another thing I don't get. Like, your life is over. Why are you alive? You know, it's like the James Bond movie. Why are you alive? But I have a question. Like, you're homeless. Your life is just getting from one second to the next second because you're so afraid. You're 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 poor. You're suffering. You're cold. You're hot. It is a miserable, torture life. Why are you alive? And then if you're poor, but you're just getting by, limping along with the welfare state, or your parents bail you out, and you're hoping President Biden bails you, and your your entire life is oh, I hate other people for not giving me more of their money. You you're uh you you reach out to it's not false gods you. You, you reach out to these boring, your life is so boring. I'm a Democrat. I'm a socialist. I'm for the environment. I'm a feminist. I have 43 genders today. Like, okay, I mean, you, know, you can do all that. But when that's like your peak, we're going to go protest. We're going to affect change. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna go play some video games. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go landscape my yard and and create something of beauty and order. I'm gonna go write a book. I'm gonna go for a hike. I'm gonna go for a motorcycle ride. <clears throat> and then when people's lives are are basically escapism or false gods or pathetic politics, I'm gonna go achieve level ninety three on World of Fartcraft. Oh, I wrote an article. On a Boldy Nas or no, a Condi Nast publication that Condi Nast all these owns all these dumbass websites, you know, like Boldy and Jezebel and all this other crap. I'm gonna fight the patriarchy. I'm gonna get a master's degree in the same navel gazing subject I studied before, and then you're gonna be poor. Like you don't, you didn't even address like your food, clothing, and shelter. You didn't even address financial stability. And so that's always nagging you at the in the back of your mind, and you have to go apply for some form of welfare, charity, or <clears throat> you know EBT or WIC, or you get some free food from the local church or food bank. I'm like, man, that's your life. That's your life. You get one of them. Don't you want to like go do something better? Do you want to do anything? Like, I don't even stand in line for ice cream. Atham and, and Chad were giving me guff because in Reno, they have this place called Cold Stone Creamery. And every fucking sheep lined up in there one night. <clears throat> and I look at these people. Let me, let me paint it a different way, all right? What the value of your time is. There was a line going out the door for ice cream. Look, I like ice cream, but I'm not standing there Half an hour of my time to get ice cream. And you just look at these fucking sheep. They're perfectly fine with it. You know why? Because they got nothing going on in their life. Nothing. It, to them, there's no other alternative. Like, like, well, I got this thing going on and that thing going on. I got a life to get to. Nope, they're all there on the smartphone and social media. Like a family of five wasted two and a half hours to get a scoop of ice cream. Are you nuts? Oh, the, the my friends gave me guff thinking I was crazy and like, oh, he's all he's type A. But the the welfare state kind of like, eh, you don't have to try. Like in the olden days, if you didn't try, you would die. So you got up close and personal with death you're through starvation, cold threats, and then you, I'm gonna hustle, I'm gonna, and then you're like, oh, whoa, look, I, I, the more I work, the more food I got. The, the more I slave away, the better house I got. Like uh, my my effort directly translates into higher standards of living. The welfare state first removes any emergency or, or urgency for you to support yourself. That's taken care of. And then if the more you make, the more they tax. So now you're disincentivized to create, uh, to achieve excellence, to capitalize on your one goddamn life. And it's just shocking. This is why I have no respect for people. It is shocking how many of you are just perfectly okay being sheep. Just like, uh, I got my stimmy checked. I want UBI. I want to be like Andrew Yang. A pussy with rich Asian parents who thinks he knows stuff. That's what he did. Look him up. I'm not making that up. You go look it up. 
Guy's lived off his rich Asian parents his entire life. And his his plan, sit down, everybody, is to get everybody more money. <clears throat> and look at how sad and pathetic the average person is. Just look at all of you. Look at you. You don't have a reason to get up in the morning. You don't go out and build something or construct something. I know it sounds boring, but there was a void that, uh, that formed underneath my driveway. Some water was getting in there and eroding between the concrete that the driveway was and the dirt underneath it sat on. That's bad because it will break. <clears throat> I didn't want to really fix it that day. But I, I drilled in some um, some expanding foam. I shoved in some. Uh, I just basically resupported. Then I sealed it off with some extra concrete. Then I put down some clay, clay dirt that I got from my backyard. Patted that down, sloped it, put some plastic on it. Then I put some gravel on it. Now, <clears throat> was, you know, would I have rather been doing something else? Yes. But now I look at that like I don't have to worry about that. I enjoy a higher standard of living because I'm not worried about that. My driveway is not going to crack now. And the water is sloping away and draining away. And it looks nice. Is it a Ferrari? No, it's better than a Ferrari because it didn't impoverish me. It did confer upon me false value. And matter of fact, your average American, especially girls, would not pick that up. Girl would ab absolutely go with the guy with the Ferrari. They're not going to like, oh, that's a good, you're responsible. Look how we're But it means a lot to me. I fixed it. I got a higher standard of living. I, also, I didn't have to pay some, I don't know, it probably cost 2000 bucks to have some kind of concrete guy come out and do the little job. <clears throat> and meanwhile, here you people are jerking off to the internet about socialist politics. Oh my gosh, did you know that some feminist over at the university came up with a new way women are oppressed? And that's like your day. My day was productive. You, know, you got your government money, it just keeps you all bored and satiated. You're satiated. You're just, you are. Oh, the irony. Oh, yeah, I totally take the red pill in the in the matrix. You guys are all batteries. You're all batteries. <clears throat> You're all stuck in the matrix. And then all of you have just pissing away your life. When you die, what's going to be there? I sat and bitched and whined and, and panhandled either in the real, real world or white collar on the internet, demanding other people pay for my stuff and never getting off my fucking ass and doing anything. I didn't hit the gym. I didn't have good sex. I never fucked a good looking person. I, I, I didn't enjoy some of the finer things in life. I didn't go on any adventures. I didn't work hard. I didn't produce anything. You really, your life was wasted. There was no reason for you to exist. And all you did, all you did was suffer. And you suffered not only poverty, hunger, maybe, well, maybe not hungry once fat now, but certainly poverty, financial stress, psychological stress, and above all else, envy. Because of the few people that got off their ass and had a better life than you. <clears throat> no need to save grain. Yep. No need. Hat and clogs, two bucks. Cappy makes video games, gives money. Cappy delete video. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It is up. Uh, I did upload the audio on SoundCloud. So just so you know, it's on SoundCloud if you want to download. It was a shit podcast anyway. And I admitted that. I knew that I titled it the Mail It In podcast. If you guys want to follow me, I'm on SoundCloud. You can download the MP3s there or whatever it ports to. Um, so it's still there. Hatton clogs two bucks. Yeah. Am I not supposed to give my money? No, are you <laughs> dude. I said the C word. I have to take it down because we live in a second grade world with YouTube. The school mom's gonna come in there and give me detention. So it's there. It's there. Edged Barb, two bucks, yay, nay, people with bumper stickers on a car. I don't mind it. I got I got a couple bumper stickers, um, but I drive crappy cars. Uh, if you're a brand new car, no, don't put bumper stickers on a brand new car. You don't, you know, it's like girls in tattoos. You don't put bumper stickers on a Ferrari. But I don't care if you pay for a piece of junk like I do and you, you're going to drive it into the ground. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you this. It prevents rust in that one rectangular spot. It's, it's true. Um, yeah, I, I don't care. Sure. Goth rocker. Man, 50 generous dollars. Thanks, man. Cappy sold my house, got the big check. And since December, I have lost 70. One, look at that. Look at that. Let me ask you something. Now, that took a lot of hard work and sacrifice and pain, hunger pain particularly. Probably if you were exercising physical exhaustion. How do you feel? 
Is your life not better? Did you not have a story? Did you not live a little? Did you taste life? And I argue, yes, yes, he did. Goth Rocker 7, who donated 50 generous dollars, has lived a good life. He has tasted it. He wants more. And he will never go back to the days where he sat on his ass. Collecting government money, although with $50 donation, I assume he makes a plenty of his own. Next month, I turn 40. Any advice? I, I just keep going. <clears throat> um, I mean, with your house, here's the thing. Well, the, the one bit of advice is you didn't make that much money. Everyone thinks like, look how much money I made on my house. Like, no, you're buying. Now you got to buy into an equally inflated market, either through rent or through buying a, a now equally inflated house. So I would scale down if you could. Like, let's say you had a five bedroom, three bathroom house. I'm assuming you're a single guy, but I could be wrong. But no single guy needs that. Build a little bachelor hut. Find a find a place that you want to live and scale down. And then you should have a fair amount of proceeds left over. You could just toss into a a retirement fund and um, save save uh, up for retirement. With cars, you're wrong. Nice cars are nice. I love my Japanese Subarus in the winter. <clears throat> but I love my 2017 Linga Continental. But that's a used car. That's fine. I, I don't mind. Look, at, look, if you have the money for it, like, okay, if you're donating 50 bucks, I presume you're making good money, all right? And like Rich Cooper, he can afford a McLaren. If you're making millions of dollars and you could pay cash for a car and it's a mere fraction, you know, okay, fine, go get the nice car. Um, You know, I don't make that much money. Uh, I will, and it's just principle too. I'm never buying new clothes. I'm never buying a new car. But if I had a billion dollars, all right, maybe I'd get that Mustang I want, you know? Uh, maybe, I, I don't know what, I'd, I'd fly first class more or I'd pay the extra money to be seated up in the front or seats of Spirit Airlines. But um, <clears throat> yeah, and in, in, if you're in winter, yeah, you need a four-wheel vehicle. I understand why you have a Subaru. I understand. Um, my question, does it have to be a 2023? Why not a 2017? Uh, Stan, uh, thanks, Goth Rocker, by the way. Uh, Stan the Milkman, two Australian dollars, started orient orienting. It's fun. Map of Compass. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah, a little adventure. Goth Rocker again. Look at this guy. $20. Subaru. I bought new. Lincoln bought certified used. Saved a ton. Bought it because I want a nice, large American luxury, comfy, sleek car. Not to get girls. Now other house sold. Should I pay off the balance on the current house? Oh, you already got a house. Uh, depends on the interest rate. Like, if your current house has an interest rate of, like, you know, whatever. If you were unlucky, people got something 3% or lower. No, absolutely not. Let inflation eat away at that thing. But I don't know if it's 7 or 8%. Yeah, you pay that off. That's a 7 8% guaranteed rate of return annual. Uh, but it really does depend on the interest rate. But yeah, if, if you got a 2.7% interest rate, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Let the Democrats print the money away. And the Republicans, by the way. Let them print the money away. Let them inflate that away. That's the one good thing us working people got. Did you know, man, two Canadian bucks. When would you need your plan B abroad? Cheers. I don't know when. I, I don't know when. You know, when does the, when do wars start? When does the explosion happen? When does tornado strike? I don't know. I just want to make sure I got it, which I don't, which I don't. I've been busy working on, on physical labor landscaping projects. And I'm tired. I'm tired. Everyone thinks like, oh, wouldn't it be great to go and travel and look for a foreign place to live? No, I don't want to hop on that plane. I don't want to go look for a hotel. I don't want to manage my way through multiple languages. I don't want to. I don't. I just don't. I don't even want to go fossil hunting right now. I'm that it's it's eight hours a day of manual labor. For those of you who've done that, you know, you know, you've done, obviously people have done 12 hours a day. You know, you want to, you want to stay in the sleep. Hand clogs, five bucks. Use Cappy sheep voice. I take the red pill. You are all blue pill betas. Also, Cappy, I have extra money and give to you. You, am I not supposed to do that? <clears throat> no, you could, you could had, you could give me money if you like. Thanks for the money though, by the way. Uh, Sergio Cole, uh, five British pounds. I think. Minimalist mentality help about the same brain problems. For the first time, I save a thousand 
dollars of money per month somehow cures addiction. Yeah, it's once you well, anything you develop a habit in, especially if you start seeing the results like losing weight, that reinforces it rather rapidly. Um, and when I was in college, I, I was people say, well, how do you, do you achieve minimalism? My way didn't require deep philosophical thinking. It was there was no money. There just wasn't any money. And then by about my junior senior year, because in, in the Twin Cities, we have the Mall of America, like you'd go there like, oh, my God, look at all this cool stuff I want to get. By the time I was about to graduate, I was like, I don't need this stuff. Why do I want this stuff? I survived just fine without it. And so mine was kind of more of a lesson in the field. Uh, but yeah, just, just do without, just do without, I don't even eat till like about one or 2 PM anymore nowadays. Cause you just do without should, I should come up with a weight loss program where it's like, yeah, be so busy from the time you wake up to 2 PM that you're only eating like a meal and a half a day. Dave, 128, two bucks. I drive a 2011, no payments since 2014. Never again. Yep. There you go. I haven't had a car payment ever, ever. <clears throat> Goth rocker again. My gosh, 10 bucks. I'm a single guy. I work at a gas utility. I bought my current house five years ago. Bought a simple ranch house. Low fixed mortgage payment, only $4.91. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, don't pay that off. 2.9%. You're making like four to eight, four to five, six, seven percent, depending on what you want to consider the inflation rate. Absolutely don't pay that off. Let Uncle Joe whittle that away with inflation. <clears throat> Uh, Hatton clogs two bucks. Have some more monies. Have a good day. Thanks, Hat. Um, we got meet next time winter. Let's meet up over in Vegas. You ever come through town? Anyway, well, thanks for all the donations during us an advertisement. Um, so link below achieving minimalism theory and practice. If you can't find the link below, that's available on Teachable. Just search Teachable Aaron Clary achieving minimalism. There are other courses I offer as well. One is called Achieving Financial Excellence. That is the shorter sister companion course to achieving uh, achieving minimalism. If you don't want to spend the big money on that, take the the smaller course first. Although it's there, there there's overlap, <clears throat> but but not a ton. Some, um, but that's a, it has a different aim than getting you to quit spending more than you make. There's also the dad you never had course. If your dad wasn't around. You didn't know your dad or your dad was around, but he gave you the world's worst advice or he just didn't know himself. Like he's your standard boomer who doesn't have money. I got to work more. No, I can't retire at 70. I got to work more. I'm on my third. If your dad's on his third marriage, probably shouldn't listen to him. Just saying. Anyway, if you, if you were not brought up properly, you have no life direction. You, it's the first chapter in that. That's a 12 hour course, by the way. <clears throat> Don't let that intimidate you. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, there's a lot of stuff your dad should have taught you. And the first thing is, what do you do in life? Hey, game plan. You got one? No, oh, I just want to achieve level 47 on 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 swords and sluts, which would be a great game. Um, so, oh, one more super chat. Free gender, five bucks. Should I continue trying to keep my credit score up or lower it to get the house? I'm confused. Why would you lower your credit score to get the house? You want to have a high credit score to get the house. What you should do for your gender, depending, are you in the market for a house now? What you should do is immediately go to a bank or a lender, mortgage lender, and get pre-qualified for a house. So you know how much of house you can afford and what your payment's going to be. Because if you got a high, if, okay, your credit score is up, right? Now's the time to get pre-qualified. Because you're going to get the lowest interest rate with your high credit score. And then after you buy a house, little, little insight here, let me give let me give you some free advice here, kids. <clears throat> free financial advice. You get this would be worth 450 bucks. Let's say you uh you go get your house, right? You got a really good credit score. You pay your debts and, and all that. You build up your credit score. You get qualified for a very good interest rate with an 812 credit score. And you sign it, you close on the house, now you have your house. Here's my philosophical, I ask unto you, what do you need a credit score for anymore? You've already signed the mortgage. Your your your, your mortgage payment is fixed, regardless of what happens to your credit score anymore. Don't worry what happens to your credit score thereafter. 
Now, I'm not saying let go to pot and don't pay your mortgage. That's not what I'm saying. But the whole point, way too much emphasis is put on a credit score. Once you get a mortgage, I don't know what the point and purpose of a credit score is anymore, especially assuming you're going to be a minimalist and you're not going to apply for loans anymore. Now, if you're going to apply for a car loan, right, yeah, then you need it. Anytime you apply for a loan, you need a credit score. But if you pay cash for things and you don't need debt, you don't need your credit score. You don't have to worry about it anymore. <clears throat> All right. All right. Justin, five bucks. Uh, just says five bucks. Thanks, Justin. Looks like, what are you skiing over there? Looks like you're having a good time. And free gender, five bucks. Joe Biden issued a new program where people with low credit scores, pure rates, and make lower down payment. Yep. Yeah, he did. That's what Democrats do. They give the losers of society hand-me-ups and leg-ups. And here, here look. Shh, don't tell anyone. It doesn't matter how much help Joe Biden gives them. They're still going to fuck it up. They're still going to be poor. I don't know if you've noticed, but when you put life on easy mode for people, they never evolve. They never get better. It just enables them to be keeping shitty poor people. And that's what's going to happen there. These people will default on their mortgage. They won't maintain the home. The house will have, you know, cracks in the foundation. They won't do what I did with my driveway. And then they're going to have this uh, fixer upper house that they're going to sell for inflation adjusted no more than what they they paid for it. And then they'll bitch and whine about the Republicans in the Senate and the corporation and Jeff Bezos and rich white men or whatever. And But at the end of the day, at the end of their life, their lives will have been pow and miserable and suffering and envious. And then I ask, I ask on to you, what the F was the point of you even being alive that entire time? That sucked. <laughs> that life sucked, man. I've had problems in my life. Don't worry. Everyone's got their ups and downs and challenges. Dark, dark days, bad days, horrible days. But at the end of it, it's like, man, this was a story and a half. This was fun. I made it count. I cannot imagine what it'd be like to be, just imagine being one of these people that like, I've pissed poorly managed my life so much. I'm going to get this slightly better interest rate with my crappy credit score, which means I can't afford the house. And now I'm going to damage and ruin the rest of my life because I don't know that houses need maintenance. I actually can't afford the house. Um, the the pipes are going to freeze. There's going to be foundation issues. I'm I'm such a lazy, worthless sack of shit. I can't even I can't even take care of my own apartment or pay back my loans. These people sure the hell aren't going to be able to maintain a home. There's a lot of responsibility in that. And so if you think about it, all Joe is doing is making their lives worth by worse by further complicating their lives, giving them a responsibility they can't handle. And they're going to come up with their down payment, all the money's going to go into it. All right, this just greases the skids a little bit more for them to piss away the money. And there you go. I know you guys are all upset about, I can't believe it. I worked so hard. Yeah, they're just going to ruin their lives. Don't worry about it. Justin, five bucks. Aaron, I have a mortgage at 2.9% interest. Where, winning. Should I put another 500 per month towards the principal or not? Nah? Depends on how far along you are in the mortgage. <clears throat> um, I kind of have a similar situation to you. And I did, like, uh, I think I did an extra four or five principal payments early on to just accelerate the amortization of the mortgage that quickly. And then I stopped. Uh, that's more for the mathematics. It's not, I know I, I wasn't making money on inflation. I know that. I just want like for four or five extra principal payments, you can, depending on the interest rate and in your amortization, you can cut off literally years, five, even seven years of the mortgage. So what I would do um you can I mean, do it for a year. Put an extra, what is that, $6,000? Or just if you got the money, just put a cut a check, man. Cut a check for six extra principal payments or 12 extra principal payments and then be done with it. And don't do it anymore and let, let inflation erode it. Free gender, five bucks. Where's seven... Where's 750? My dad gave me half an acre of land needs to be developed. What should I do? Where's 750? 750 is a pretty good credit score. That's not bad. That's good. If you could get it up a little bit more, you might get a slight, slightly better interest rate, but it's it's fine. 
<clears throat> um, half an acre of land needs to be developed. All the neighbors around me have, but I don't. Um, depends on where you are in life. Like, are you ready to live there? Or did you just recently graduate from college and you're getting job offers in wherever it is, Texas or Seattle or whatever? I mean, you got to go make the money first. The land will be there. You're in no rush. Don't worry. It'll be there. But, it, you know, the house thing, people are like, where should I do? When do I buy a house? I'm like, it depends. Are you 30? You've saved up the money. You got remote work and you know you absolutely love Topeka, Kansas. Okay, yeah, build your house in Topeka, Kansas. Did you just graduate? You don't know where you're going. You have no money. No, I don't build a house. All right, there you go. All right, I'm out of here. I got to go get quotes on uh, dump truck. Well, we got one more. Free gender, two bucks. Neighbors have utilities. I don't have water gas. Yeah, that'll have to be brought in either by the utility company or you're going to have to get. Well, gas, you're going to have to have piped in. Water, you could drill a well. And electric, if you want, you can do solar. But, dude, it doesn't sound like you get the money for it just yet. So hold off. Wait till you're ready to build or buy a... Well, you're going to have to build, obviously. You don't have... It's just land. Wait till you're ready to build a house. All right, that's it. Link below. See you guys later, toodles.